Backpack Fidget Spinner Test Number One. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. Over the past year or so, building out this entire unnecessary world of mine, I've had the privilege to meet some other makers and creators that I really look up to. And that even includes the queen herself, the one and only Simone Gertz. Yet. I think a lot of people end up saying Gertz, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to pronounce it yet, but you know who I'm talking about. And last week out of the blue, Simone sends me this message, and I knew there was only one thing to do. Okay, stop the video. I'm editing, and did anyone catch that? If you look at Simone's message, it says fridge backpack, not fidget backpack. So I just made this entire video thinking she said fidget backpack when she never said that. I will show you Simone's response to my mix up, but back to the video. So welcome to a new series I'm calling, Someone on the Internet Made Me Make This, featuring Simone Yetz. Gertz Yetz, Gertz Yetz. So Simone, the challenge is accepted. We're making a fidget backpack, let's go. I don't think I need to explain to anyone what a fidget spinner is. I think everyone remembers from what, like three or four summers ago when it was the hottest toy on the market, but you just hold your finger on it and it spins forever and ever and ever and ever. So we're gonna turn the idea of a fidget spinner spinning around into a backpack. Last week when Simone sent me that message, I hopped online and purchased a giant bearing that would be able to spin a backpack. It just arrived, so let's go get it. Let's open our package. We've got one massive bearing. Let's see how massive it is. And here it is. Oh, hey, Mark. So here we have the bearing that we're gonna use for the fidget backpack. I think it should be big enough to rotate the backpack around and around with the idea that I have going on inside my head. So let's find a backpack and start putting this thing together. I do think I'm gonna need to lube this thing up a little bit to get some more motion, but we'll figure that out later. Let's go. Everything else for this project, I'm gonna try and only use things that I have laying around my studio. And I know I have some backpacks here somewhere. This back here is just some regular luggage. Okay, here we go, here are some. This is what I was thinking of. So now let's go talk about the design. I think this bag is gonna be perfect for the fidget backpack. And okay, that was my best attempt at a TikTok transition because I did just hit one million followers over there. So if you aren't, go head on over to TikTok and give me another follow. You get another sort of behind the scenes look at everything in the unnecessary studio. But this bag, what makes it a good candidate for this invention is it sort of has a rigid structure to it. So when it's spinning around on your back, no matter what's inside of it, I think it's gonna keep its form and stay spinning perfectly. So on the back of the bag, we're gonna 3D print a bracket that is going to hold that giant bearing that I showed you earlier. Actually, I just had a thought. We are actually going to use two backpacks for this invention. On the original backpack, we're gonna remove all the straps and just use the base body. And then on a second backpack, we're going to use the straps and this back panel here. And that is what is going to attach to your back and stay fixed. And if that made absolutely no sense, here's a quick little diagram explaining everything. Here are the four pieces that we're gonna fabricate for the fidget spinner backpack. These are going to be the guts that make everything work. So first up, we have the 3D printed parts, and this is gonna hold the bearing and connect the two pieces together. Then we're gonna use the Glowforge to cut out these two pieces of wood that will attach to the 3D brackets. These two pieces are gonna go into each side of the backpack. I think the wood is gonna give it a little bit more stability, and these will connect all of the parts together so that we can spin, spin, spin away with our fidget spinner backpack. Get it, got it, good. Let's go hit the 3D printer and print out those brackets so we can get our fidget on. So while those finish up over on the 3D printer, we're gonna bust out the Glowforge and get the wooden backs that the brackets are gonna attach to inside the backpack finished up. And just like that, we have both of our boards that we need for each section of the backpack to hold the bracket in so we can fidget around. Two or three weeks ago, it snowed here and now it's 90 degrees and I'm sweating. But now all we need are the 3D printed parts, which should finish up soon. So I'll see you in just a moment. It has been a few hours since I've seen you guys. We have both of our brackets and they are looking great. The main question that we have now is do they fit and do they work? 
And the first thing I need to test out is does the bearing fit into the bracket? I think it's going to fit just perfectly. I also included these little finger holes, so if I ever want to push out the bearing, it'll be all set. But it looks like we are in business. This fits well. Let's grab the other part. And then the other backpack piece is going to go onto here. Ooh, this one's a little tighter. And we are attached and spinning. Is this all making a little bit more sense now? So this is going to be my back. And then this side is going to be the backpack. So back, backpack, fidget spinner. Here we go. The next step is to get these brackets attached to those wooden pieces from the Glowforge and then into the backpack itself. We are getting there, Simone. We are getting there. Next step, here we go. Here we have one side of the 3D printed bracket and the wooden piece that is going to go into the backpack. All they have to do is easily glue up together so we can put it inside the backpack and then put the bearing inside and start fidget spinning. I think this is gonna work out exactly the way I was planning it in my head. Luckily, these are different sizes, but each one is symmetric into the one they go into. I'm just gonna go ahead and put super glue on the back. It always works great for these 3D printed parts. And once they are all dried up, we'll be able to cut open the backpack and get these parts in there. Let's do it. We are down to the final steps before we start putting together our entire fidget backpack. All we have to do is remove the straps from this bag so we have just the body for the fidget spinner. And then on our second backpack, we're gonna take the straps off so that this is attached to our body, this is fidget spinning. I'm probably gonna bust out the sewing machine to clean up a few of the lines, but let's start a montage of getting these two bad boys together. Okay, I was getting way too tired filming all of that stuff, but we are 95% of the way there. The first section that we have is the backpack portion that goes on, well, your back. And here we have the bearing installed into the backboard. I didn't do the best job cutting it out, but I thought the backpack is going to be hiding all of that stuff, so it doesn't really matter. It fits, it works. I would say that's a win. Then we have the second part. Not too much to show here. All I did was cut off the straps, put in the wood baseboard, and here's the bracket for that. So let's put it all together and see if it spins. So this piece should snap in place. <laughs> should snap in place. One second. Okay, we're in and we're spinning, so let's try it on. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I did put some WD-40 into the bearing to make sure it spun a little bit better. But let's see how this thing works. Okay, fidget spinner backpack test number one. We're fidget spinning. <laughs> this actually worked way better than I anticipated. Okay, I guess I need to glue the bearing down. Let's try that again. This invention, and I'm sweating profusely. This invention works. Let's put a soda can in here, spin it around, and see how shook up it gets. Seltzer, into the fidget backpack. Give it a few whirls. Spin it around and around. Spin it, keep it spinning, keep it spinning. Okay, let's see how that shook up. Oh, I was about to say not too bad, and then it exploded. You know, I can be happy with this brand new unnecessary invention, but the only opinion that really matters is Simone. So Simone, how did I do with the fidget backpack? Did I make it do everything that you were hoping it was gonna do? And I am back again to give you an update on Simone's response to the fidget fridge fiasco. So I sent Simone an early look at the fidget backpack and that is when I realized my grave mistake. Luckily, she thought it was hilarious and sort of loved it and hated it all at the same time. And as a matter of fact, we were on the same wavelength of shaking up a can inside the fidget backpack. Anyway, back to the video. Of course, my official rating is 10 queen of shitty robots out of 10. And of course, I'm gonna go take some more photos and videos and put them up over on my Instagram channel. If you enjoyed watching me make this completely unnecessary invention, be sure to go and uh, smash that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up while you're down there. And let me know down in the comments who you want me to work with for the next iteration of this show, which I don't even remember what I called it. Someone on the internet made me make this, made me invent this. 
Fidget spinner backpack, Simone Gertz, episode one, check. I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I'm gonna throw a mask on and I'm walking down the street, spinning my life away. I will see you at the next invention. See ya.